Hello and welcome to Lee Anderson Yoga. I'm Lee and I'm very excited that you're here to enjoy sharing some hand yoga and some feet yoga with me this morning. Lovely. So just sitting in a way that's comfortable for you, you might also be sitting on a chair. That is absolutely fabulous. Let's start by bringing the hands together, letting the heels of the hands rest and the fingers just softly land in together. You can close your eyes if you wish. Just notice the breath and just feeling in to where the hands meet. Those places of contact, beautiful, nice and soft. Great. So with the hands still joined together, tip the fingers towards the front, towards me. Lovely, thumbs on top, little finger down. Start to lift the elbows out to the side and then see if the fingers want to turn around a little bit further. So that's a little bit of a stretch into the forearms and the wrists. Bring the hands all the way back on up towards your chin and then maybe towards your chest. Again, just opening out into the wrists a little bit, not too much pressure through the hands as they return back upright. Lovely. Peel the hands apart. Ten fingers. Beautiful, wriggling the thumbs and the index finger and the middle finger. Noticing how the other fingers want to help. That's all okay. They're all interconnected. And of course, then the little finger. Starting at the thumb, squeezing in, then the index finger, third, fourth, fifth, making a fist. So you're holding the thumb in and down, really squeeze into the hands. Start at the little finger as you open the hands on up, fourth finger, middle finger, index finger, and really opening the hand, really stretching the fingers back as far as they'll go. Let's do that again. Thumb, index, middle, ring, little finger. Squeezing, but relaxing into the shoulders and the chest, but you can feel it in your forearms. Beautiful little finger releases, ring, middle, index, thumb. Fabulous, all sorts of wriggles, all sorts of wriggles and jiggles. Lovely, so you can reach the hands out in front of you if you like, as long as that's comfortable with your shoulders. Tip the fingers down towards the floor, out in front of you, and then up to the ceiling, but really spread them out. Back down in front of the floor, to the floor, all the way on up, and spread them out. Fingers towards each other, open out, towards each other. Beautiful, through the hands, through the fingers. I can hear a few cracking and crunchings, but I know that's safe and that's okay for me. So if you're hearing any noises or you're feeling any twinges, just go steady and easy, because that is important and safer for you. Wriggling through the wrists. And the elbows and the shoulders. Excellent. Letting the fingers rest again, nice and softly on top of each other. So we're gonna bring the right hand a little bit further forward as we interlace the fingers. So the right thumb is the first one. Turn the palms out, relax the shoulders down away. So really softening here down the sides of the neck and just letting the hands do their thing. Softening down the sides of the neck from the earlobes to the top of the shoulders, the body. Beautiful, release the hands, bring them all the way back in. Line them back up in Anjali Mudra. Let the hands rest. Feel their places of contact, places of support and love. And this time we'll bring the left hand a little bit further forward as we interlace the fingers. Lovely, reach them all the way out in front, crack, crunch. I don't do this often enough. Relax the shoulders, sides of the face, behind the ears where the jaw connects to the skull. Magic, gently release, circling through the wrists and the hands. Fantastic. So let's stretch the legs out in front. If you're seated in a chair, absolutely stay seated in a chair. But thinking about one leg, this is my right leg, but it's probably your left. So just circling through the wrist, one leg at a time, doesn't matter. 
which one? Circling through, did I call that the wrist? Ankle. <laughs> toes to the ceiling, toes pointing down, flexing the foot, heel out in front, toes up, heel gathers down, toes point down, beautiful. Just holding the foot relaxed and just trying to stretch the toes out in every direction. And then letting them relax. Circles round through the ankle one way and then through the other. Excellent. Place that leg down. Just have a little bit of a moment here if you like to reposition through your sit bones on the floor or on the chair. Then lifting the other leg up. A little bit of movement through the ankle and through the toes. Lovely. And then toes to the ceiling, heel out in front. Toes really straighten out through the top of the foot. It might line up with the shin, might not. Heel out, toes up. Beautiful. Then letting the foot relax and just trying to wriggle through the toes. Trying to send the toes wriggly, wriggly. Notice how the whole foot wants to get in on the action. We're all so connected. <laughs> Even my other foot's trying to do the exercises. I'm having trouble focusing on one foot. Lovely. And some circles in and around. One way and the other way. Lovely. Release the leg down. Wriggle through the shoulders and the hips. Hands to heart center. Well done. I hope your fingers feel refreshed and alive as well as your tippy toes and your feet and ankles. Have a fabulous day. Thank you. Namaste.